Okay, so here we are for November 25th page. And since I was talking about cutting out flyers and stuff, I went out and got the mail and lo and behold if there weren't flyers. So I have gone through out of the Canadian Tire one and I got a Christmas tree and this beautiful Christmas font. And then I thought, I saw these jackets and I thought, oh, I know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> okay, so let's just, let's just cut these out. Cut those out. Now this stuff, recycle. Okay. <clears throat> so this page again is pre gessoed. I put a little tag in yesterday's page here and it says, Nobody's walking out on this fun old fashioned family Christmas. Clark Griswold. I found those at Winners. <laughs> so, anyways, I put an eyelet in there and stuck that there. Um, I'm thinking that uh, blue would be a pretty background again. Um, we're going to use the refreshing chalky finish. Am I staying in frame? Because I usually am not. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do pink and blue. So let's use the soft heather. That is also deco art from their Americana line. Let's see. Excuse my arm. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put it around the outside edges. Oops. Okay. And then I'm going to give that a shot of air with my heat tool be careful if you're putting photos in your um, journal and if you're using heat tools um, I put in I use the little instax there's like a little Polaroid uh, photos that I put in them <clears throat> they can't get hot so you need to if you're putting them in here you need to put something to protect that part of the page okay so I'm just gonna dry this and I'll be right back okay so now I'm going to use the soft heather in the center of the page and I'm just going to um, let's see clean my brush again I swear, I need a whole bucket of water over here to clean my brushes. And I'm just going to smoosh that in there. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. There. Nothing to it. And I'm going to dry that and come back to you. Okay, so you can see right here the coverage. I didn't put enough on here to cover that properly. Well, anywhere, but it doesn't matter because we are going to be putting images onto this page. I need some coffee. Hang on. It's so hard not to slurp on camera. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't want the base of this tree, so I'm just going to cut around that. You know what I could do, actually? But I think I would like better is to tear it. I think I would prefer that. Oh yeah, because newsprint, it tears so beautifully. <laughs> it's perfect. Oops, that's the top of the tree. We'll have to find a star to put on that. So 
sometimes some journal pages need need to be fabulously hideous <laughs> this one don't want to tear around that or don't want to cut around it a little bit more carefully i think we'll just go like that okay see now we're all going to be like i can't wait to see what junk mail i get today just keep your noses out of other people's recycling that might look weird <laughs> <laughs> okay. There. Isn't that, that's perfect. Oh, look at that. That looks like an ad. Funny, that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, now we need the coats. I want to cut them out a little bit. Oh, well, hmm. I don't know. Because they're the images are pretty... Um, they're not... I mean, they're clear. You can see it's a coat. But I'm scared that if I take away the white background, it's going to look... I don't know. Maybe I should do that nicer. I don't know. Who cares? No, I want it to look like it came out of a fire. I don't know why, but I, I do. Okay. These look like some pretty warm coats. <laughs> now. And we're going to do a little bit of artwork on here too. So don't worry, it's not going to look like a Canadian Tire Flyer or Men's Work Warehouse or whatever it is. Okay, so I want them like that. And then again, okay, Lisa's, Lisa's altered art, her, her site is, her Etsy shop is a treasure trove. A treasure trove we're not friends or anything I'm not promoting her shop I just really love her stuff <laughs> so <laughs> don't blame the holidays you were fat in August <laughs> excuse me that's not COVID by the way Mm. Oh, I was in Canadian Tire looking at Christmas decorations and there was a lady there working and I started coughing and she backed right up and I'm like, it's not COVID. I had just had a piece of biscotti on my bike ride over and a little nut was like still sort of lodged in my throat. <laughs> Nothing like getting everybody terrified. I really like this face. I love that. And she already has a crown on. That is such a cute poopy face too. I like it. But I think I'm going to use... I'll use this one. Um, we'll see which head fits better. Where? I'll keep this. Because I have a jar. Let's see. It is my word jar, my wordy word jar. This was done, gosh, a long time ago, about four or five years ago now, maybe more, with chalky finish paint. And it was on a metal lid. And only recently has it started, but it looks like glitter. But it sticks to metal fabulously. Anyways, I'm going to save this for my wordy word jar. Because words come in handy. And like, okay, so some of these, uh, when I printed them out, I started running out of ink. Right? And you can see the ink is yucky now. 
um, in here, starting to stripe, all these are going to go in my wordy word jar, jar. Okay. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, oops. I did. I spent so much time this month organizing my craft room and my desk, and I had all this glorious space, and guess what? <laughs> You'll never guess. Yes, it's the same as with all of us. It takes over, it spreads, and and my workspace is reduced to this now. Again, okay. If you don't have the Tim Holtz scissors, oh my goodness, treat yourself. Ugh. There's these ones, these ones, and then the great big ones. Whoops, did I just bump you? And they're fabulous. I thought, oh, who cares? They're just scissors. And I went to use these ones the other day. And I'm like, oh, ooh, where's my Tim Holtz scissors? <laughs> it's amazing how fast we get spoiled. Here, did I just slide you out of the way? There we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to hear people working on the fence again today. My, my window's open. So, I haven't even turned the heat on. Oh, maybe I did turn it on once this year in my craft room. But I, I haven't even turned it on in the bedrooms this year at all. It's like, my, we, we got new windows last fall. Was it last fall? Was it? Yeah. Or was it fall? No, it was last fall. Spring. Oh, frig, I can't remember. Anyways. We got new windows and it is so warm in here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I love them, they're so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, <laughs> my Tim Holtz craft knife be careful with these the blades I'm telling you I went through so many blades and then I had a heck of a time finding blades I think they're putting new posts in next door where'd the head go where's her oh there it is okay Oh, look at that. I already got Jesso on her coat. Or was that the label on the coat? No, I think that's Jesso. It doesn't matter. Okay, you want that a teeny, teeny bit more. Okay. Oh, my word, that is hilarious. That is so funny. Okay, and then right there. This is my new favorite thing. <laughs> Putting goofy heads in coats. Oh, that's so funny. Look at that. Oh, my word. Oh, my, I promise I haven't been drinking. It's only, what, 10 o'clock <laughs> morning? Oh, my word. That is so priceless. Okay, wait till you see what we're going to do to them when they're glued in, though. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so funny. Okay, let's stop yapping. And... <laughs> oh, get the lid off. Okay, let's glue these little heads in here. Whoops. Whoops. I'm all thumbs. There we go. And then we'll spread a little bit of glue around. This is Aileen's tacky glue. I couldn't afford the fabric tag. I just thought, forget it. I'm grabbing Aileen's. Gosh, it's been around since what? I was a kid. So what, in the 70s? I remember seeing Tacky Glue. It's been around a long time. 
My mum used to make those flowers out of faux fur. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> Look them up. Oh my word. Look up faux, faux fur flowers. They're hilarious. And then she made uh, Kleenex boxes, covers. They're little dogs. <laughs> uh, there's a piece of paper stuck back there. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> See, I could have some Christmas music or something playing, but I'm scared because was that the year before? I had Bing Crosby's White Christmas playing. <laughs> YouTube gave me crap. <laughs> and it was just playing in my craft room. It wasn't on, it wasn't part of the video. It was just, I was just listening to it because I like it. Anyways. Anyway. If that video ever makes any money, goodness, I don't know how, but if it ever makes any money, the money is theirs. <laughs> because the stupid, stupid CD is playing in the background. Oh, word. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, so there. You can use um, decoupage medium, but I'm using the glue because I don't want to make my surface slick right now uh, because we're going to be doing some... A little bit of artwork on here. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, really, because we're not doing watercolor. Ugh, sticky fingers, sticky fingers. Okay, then the tree. Oh, see, her head's not even sticking. Stay down. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, one of the guys out there working on that fence. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen Vikings. Such a good show. So well done. So well done. From the History Channel. Anyways. <clears throat> one of the guys out there looks like a Viking. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 years younger than me, but gosh, I like that look with the, the beard. It's not the same as, you know, in the 70s with the beard, is it? <laughs> it's so different. Okay, let's see. So we've got that. Now we need... I need a star, and let me see. I had. Let me see. Uh, oh, here's another sheet. This is where I got this little girl from. I'm gonna cut out this little brooch or earring or whatever that is that she's got here. I think that would make a good star. That's cute. Mind you, I thought I cut one out yesterday, but I guess I didn't. So. I'll just nip in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna pause so that you don't have to watch me cut out little stars. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Here's our little, oh, come on, button, earring, whatever, star thing. That is super cute. Put that right there. And now, <laughs> now what we're going to do is get out a palette. This is uh, neon sizzling pink. Uh, Decor, it's got a, a line of uh, neon paints. I put it in this <clears throat> sponge bottle at some point from the dollar store, and they don't last long. 
we'll just use what's in that lid and then we're going to use uh this one is laguna and this one is also from deco art so now we need let's see do i have a brush of course i have a brush i have millions of brushes which one do i want to use though is the problem uh, let's see oh that one's too big i don't know where i got this one look at this that's a treasure <laughs> going to give these girls legs so and they're gonna have striped stockings they're gonna have striped stockings no great feet here just no great feet ha <laughs> no great feet here just some cute little stripes they don't have to be perfect, they just have to give the illusion of striped socks. I know, they look like polka dots, sort of, but... Okay, and then we're going to use the sizzling pink. Oops, uh-oh. Little pieces of paper all over the place now. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to use the Uniball white Signo pen after to pull that together. So don't worry. It will look like stockings when we're done. I promise this is this is about fun this is not about um, perfection okay so we'll give her some little mittens and maybe we'll give this one some blue mittens <laughs> my star doesn't want to stick yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's put this away. And then I want to do um, a little bit of black. We're going to make little shoes. Okay. Let's going to make little tiny shoes. You know, sometimes these brushes are the best. <laughs> oh, my word. Let's see. We'll make little shoes. There. Done. Okay, I'm going to dry that because the next step requires those feet to be dry. Okay, I'm going to wait for a minute for that because it's still, they're still warm. And of course, I cannot resist. I can't, I can't. I have to use this. <laughs> I love it so much. I think I'm going to use the teal because that feels like the direction it's going in today. Gosh, I need to clean my water dishes out. Hmm. And I'm just going to smoosh it around
This adds so much to the page. It's just so beautifully glittery. I love it so much. And it's so much neater and cleaner than using glitter. And I love glitter. Like, I love it. It's one of my most favorite things ever. But look at that. It looks like snow. But this is just spectacular stuff. Oh. And we'll put some on the tree, too. Maybe a little bit of weight left on my brush from the gesso. Let me take that off. There. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay. Now, now we're going to use this. Snow Tex. Have you ever used Snow Tex before? Probably. It's this, like, kind of crunchy snowy it reminds me of that stuff we used to spray on the windows when we were kids get those stencils and then spray snowflakes all over your windows i don't want this too thick because it is in a book right but i do want some i do want some this is one of the reasons I wanted their feet dry. Ooh, just put a little bit of that <clears throat> around. See, I had, other than cutting this stuff out, I had no idea what I was going to do with this page. None. So this is just a prime example of how things evolve while you're working on them. Okay, I'm going to dry that and clean my water and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit for this stuff to dry. Um, that's okay. Um, I'm going to put my date... Oh... Make sure that I've got that right. Okay, so today, actually I'm doing yesterday's page again, a day late. <laughs> so I need this to dry so I can do today's page too. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm, I'm going to actually put this behind here. That kind of helps with giving you a nicer surface to stamp on. There. Oh, that's probably one of my clearest, nicest ones I've done so far. Okay, now I want to do a couple more little things. Um, let's see. Um, I want to put some snowflakes in here, but I'm going to do that last because um, I won't be able to do anything else until it dries. So I'm going to use this stencil again, but uh, before I do that, let's see, there's a couple, where's my stick below? Where is it? It was right here yesterday. I also have, I've got charcoal. Use charcoal. I don't want to use charcoal. Uh, for Pete's sake, it was right here. Where did I put it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me. Oh, there it is. Very tip of it, just sticking out there. <laughs> so I want to get it a little bit wet. And that's how easily it uh, it marks after. So you don't want to get too carried away because you don't want to end up with like a muddy. You what you want is just for for the image to kind of pop out a bit. So 
Um, okay, and then I'm going to just because um, I don't want to smear this stuff right now, I'm going to use a damp q tip to try and smudge this around a bit. Okay. And it just gives the image a little bit of um, depth, right? So it doesn't quite look like, you know, little cutout glued characters, right? It's got a little bit of something there to make them pop a bit. Okay. And you can see how easily that smudges with a damp q-tip right so it just kind of gives them some poppage <laughs> not a lot i don't want it muddy right and then the other thing that i wanted to do is actually let's give this a shot of air do oh okay so you can you can use the stabilo but you can also use um a white stabilo and then I should cool off for a second and then you so you can use a white stabilo as well to add highlights I'm going to try and use my my signal okay and I'm just gonna put some little make her shoes look more like shoes little shoesy yeah the page is still warm so the pen works better on like a you know dry normal temperature surface that you'll find if you try to use it too soon after you've used a heat tool it, it'll it'll be a little bit um difficult at first let me just get some of that, and I'm just gonna give her some of that, and maybe some little buttons. And the same with hers. Mm -mm. <laughs> but. It's all these little details that, you know, that make it real, <laughs> if you can call that real. And then I'm just going to put some little highlights in here around some of the little balls. Just to add some interest, right? Okay. Okay. I think that's super cute so far. Uh, and now snowflakes. This is firming up nice. Doesn't take too long to dry. I'm happy about that. So we're going to use the Believe stencil because I really loved... You know what? I'm not going to use the Believe stencil. I want, I want the polka dot snowflakes. I think they're cute. And they're like, they're just like random, random little shapes, right? And I'm going to use, I'm going to use the same snow tacks to do it. Mm. That's going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to do half a page first. How are we going to do this? Because this is kind of in a wreath, right? My coffee's getting cold. Okay, hmm. let's, okay, let's start here. I have to do this strategically so that I can, you know, lay the stencil down and not lay it over things that I've just, you know, 
put down on the page. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't see why not. It might be too... We might lift it off when the stencil comes off. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to give it a shot. Stuff it in those little holes there. Okay. It's like ceiling spackle. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> Snowballs, it's so cute. Oh my word, I love it. I love it. I'm going to actually don't gasp, but I'm gonna cut around this so that I've got more room to work. See what I mean? Okay, let's see. Let's put some more, oops, don't get carried away. Let's put some more down. Oh, that is such, that is so sweet. I love this. There. Okay. And, you know, snow doesn't just fall I'll try and put that over that little bump. It'll fall in front of the tree, too. Oh, this is such a fun project. I've really found that, you know, taking the time out to do this every day, or every second day, it's like... I don't know. It's so, it, it freshens my brain back up again, you know, just to stop everything and just do this. And mm -mm, I know, I know because I work too, that you cannot sit down and do this every single day. I mean, it, it's just not, ugh, it's just not really doable, but you don't have to do it every day. You don't have to. I've got journals where I've skipped, you know, lots of days in my journals. And you know what? It doesn't matter because I look back and there's still those days where I did do my journaling. And, and it's just as special, special and miraculous and healing as it is to just do, you know, just do what you can do. If you, if you feel stressed out doing a page a day, don't do a page a day. Why do you have, you don't have to do a page a day. Do as many pages as you want. You can do as many pages as you want. It's your journal. Oh my word. I love this page. So <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go and clean this off too otherwise my 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 little snowball stencil will be all plugged up but oh, isn't that adorable tell me that's not adorable that is so stinking cute <laughs> see I had no plans the only plans I had were cut out pieces that's it and it just evolves you have fun. Go pick through the garbage. Go pick through the garbage and find some cool flyers. You don't even need cool flyers. Those are just coats on the front of the flyer. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.